Good day, folks. Welcome back to another tying video. Um, here we're going to tie up the EEG Scud. Um, and uh, EEG is Easter Egg Gamorous. And uh, you can thank Rob for this awesome pattern and his creativity in finding materials. Um, so I've just got some gray thread here. We had a serious emergency. I am officially out of all of straggle and that is not a good thing. So I've got some of that coming, but this one I'm just gonna tie in kind of a UV grayish type color. But feel free to do it in this or in the olive, um, light olive, dark olive, that kind of thing. So I've got a size 10 uh, scud hook, 764 speed. And this is some small silver ultra wire. And I'll just get that tied in and then come right back up to the top. And I'll just show you this stuff. This is the magic behind this pattern. Um, again, we use this in the fall a lot. We like a little flash to our fall flies. So this is that flashy little stuff that comes out of Easter egg baskets. And uh, Rob uh, saw it and thought that he could use it for tying. Created this awesome pattern. And uh, now we fish it quite regularly. So I'm just going to capture this right up front here. Trim out any excess. Make sure that's tied right down. And then just fold it back so it stays out over the center for me, just like so. <clears throat> and then work my way into the back here probably trim a little bit of this off because I don't need that much so just so it's not in my way <clears throat> come to the back here and I'm going to grab my five millimeter straggle get that captured right at the very back here make sure that's nice and secure and then I will line that up all the way up here to right in behind this right in behind this uh, Easter egg stuff. So now I will take this straggle and just wrap it up the shank with kind of side by side wraps. Kind of brush it back a little bit if you want as you go. Pushing that tinsel forward, and then I can just throw one wrap and two wraps on that straggle, and then sneak my thread over in front, and then trim out my excess here, just like so. And then, if you want to. You can come up top and give the top a haircut. You can make this next step a little bit easier, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to take a half a turn with my wire and then pull this over top. And I'm just going to capture that just like so. And I can come in 
and just segment this body. Tuck that wire in behind that bead if you can. There's left ample space in there for a nice clean tie off. So you can see there's almost no thread showing there. And then when I whip finish, I will just pull just a wee bit. And same thing, I'm not gonna be left with much of a collar. So everything just tucks in behind that bead. And then I'll come back here and I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tag here. So I'll just trim that off like so. And there it is. So wicked shape, and pull all these down got any that don't want to cooperate then just nip them out of there but this is an awesome awesome fall scud lots of flash and we like flash in the fall so pretty cool little pattern shout out to rob for uh creating that baby it is a winner so that's the eeg scud i uh hope you enjoyed that one i know that thing will catch you some fish and uh, it's a fun little tie too. So that's all there is to it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.